Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I thought I would bring you along today as I decorate our little uh, rustic cabin in the woods for Christmas. And uh, before we get started, I kind of like to, to set the atmosphere of the day. So first, first things first, let's have some coffee. And thank you, Sweet Abby, for our coffee mugs. We love them. And I want to thank um, Amy Fritz. Um, her channel gave me the idea for this simmer pot. So just to have some Christmassy smells, um, I'm adding some sliced oranges to some water with a cinnamon stick and some star anise. And if I had cloves, I would have added them too. And I'm just going to uh, bring that to a boil. Oh, I'm also adding these cranberries that were just dying in the back of my freezer for I don't even know how long. So, <laughs> And then I slice up the fresh oranges and pop them in the oven to dry out for future simmering pots. And now that we have the smells covered, let's dig out those Christmas CDs. And a shout out to the husband for bringing up all the Christmas boxes from the basement. Thank you, kind sir. And here's Ruger, he's gonna help us find the CDs. And luckily I found them right away. I love when that happens. I try to always pack them away on the top of a box so I can find them easier. Now once the simmer pot starts to boil is when I put it down to simmer and I just add more water as needed and let it simmer while I'm decorating and the house smells amazing. So now I need to uh, decide what Christmas music we're gonna start with. And uh, I have a lot to choose from, so it takes me a minute. So I did speed this up a little bit. So it looks like Jake is like having a super fast cat bath on the couch over there. <laughs> Bless his heart. So I have to put, I put the Christmas CDs away because you see the ridiculous CD collection behind me there, which I'm going to blame my husband for that one. <laughs> so there's just not room for Christmas CDs there too, or I have them out all year. So I like to get the tree out first. I don't fluff it up or anything right now. I kind of just get it out and decide where it's gonna be so I can kind of decide where the other stuff's gonna go because I kind of like to deal with the other stuff first and leave the tree for last. So now I'm just gonna bring all of the boxes into my cozy little living room and start unpacking the things. So I found these, um, they're like, cloth really cute red and white um i got them at hobby lobby and i thought i would put them on the windows up at the top along the curtain rod and they're cute they're really cute but what's interesting is i don't really have a lot of red <laughs> christmas decorations but i really liked these when i saw them at hobby lobby but i'm thinking perhaps next year i will put them on the banister that leads up to the loft and get something a little more neutral to go on the um, curtain rods but they are really cute and I did get them on sale and they'll do <laughs> right it's I keep changing you know the way I want to decorate I can't decide where I'm going so I definitely want to go we're going a little more rustic because I mean look at where we live so it's definitely heading in a more rustic direction, but I almost am enjoying the neutrals a lot too, so. Here's Ruger's help, helping me see if we've got that in the right place. Thanks, Rue. Yeah, I think, I think that'll do. <laughs> but I like to go ahead and empty the boxes. So here I'm just gonna be unloading everything out of the totes and putting them in their uh, respective rooms where they'll be spending some quality time and then I get the boxes out of my way because as you can see, this is a, a very cozy space and so I don't have a lot of room to move around when I have all the totes in the space. Oh, and this vase, um, what is the name of that company? I used to have like parties all the time. I think it's Party Light is what it's called. But I've got uh, this vase that I love, so I keep pack, always pack it away safely in its uh, original box. 
and I put that actually in my kitchen window. I, I love that thing so much. So even though we have a lot of boxes, I don't really have a ton of decorations. I mean, my husband and I got started relatively late in life in our late forties. We just celebrated our third anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. So we kind of have like a hodgepodge of what he brought to the table and what I brought to the table. <laughs> and it wasn't, it's not a lot. But so mostly uh, the decorations that I like to put on this corner shelf are my are, uh, decorations that I've made myself or that friends of mine have made. And so I will put a uh, link to the playlist below for um, all of my Christmas crafting. And there are plenty of tutorials down there as well. So I'll leave that link below. And I, I'm putting the things on the shelf, but quite honestly, I change it at least four more times before I decide, you know, <laughs> on a layout. So I do add a clip at the end to let you see what it ends up uh, looking like because you know it's just so hard to decide. and that's part of the fun for me rearranging all the things until I get it where I want it so now let's talk about this tree this tree my husband had uh, when I got here and it uh, I will fluff this tree this is what I spend the most time on when I am decorating this house for Christmas is is fluffing up the branches of this tree I mean, I spend quality time doing it, but I have the Christmas music in the background and the Christmas smells throughout the house, and I literally enjoy it, so it's all good. One thing I would say, though, I seriously <laughs> understand why people have trees on a rotating base, and uh, when I get to the Christmas lights, it's, it becomes obvious why that would be a handy-dandy thing to do. But right now I am in the zone fluffing up the tree and I won't fluff the whole thing for you because literally I take my time <laughs> and fluff and then I still fluff it as I'm putting on the lights and as I'm putting on the garland as, and as I'm putting on the ornaments. So it's like a constant and I might even fluff it every now and then <laughs> through the holiday season. It's a thing. I don't know. All right, so now is the lights and I am plugging them in to make sure they work before I start winding them on the tree. And you know I had to learn that lesson the hard way, just like I do all of the lessons in life. <laughs> so yes, as I'm doing this, I'm like, all right, I remember when we had kids at home and when uh, my kids would help me decorate the tree and I could just pass the lights to somebody on the other side and we'd make this happen. And now it's, it's me <laughs> getting the lights the way I want them. So I literally make myself dizzy spinning around this tree. So on my Christmas list is a, a new tree, a pre-lit tree. It doesn't have to spin, but my goodness, can it just be pre-lit please? Yeah, and that doesn't necessarily mean I won't add more lights because, <laughs> you know, I, I would like to step up my light game. But this is all I have to work with right now. So hopefully after the, after Christmas sales, I'll be able to find some lights. We'll see. I will be on the hunt for a whole tree with lights and then some more lights. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I was checking my oranges probably every hour and 15 minutes and I'd flip them over and they got a little brown. If you were gonna use them for garland, I might keep a better eye on them, but they're perfect for future simmer pots, so. All right, now I'm gonna start with this uh, wood garland I bought a couple of years ago. It's white and natural. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I love it because it has like that rustic feel, but I am about one strand short, so. You know, I have to really <laughs> figure out how this is going to go because I'm one strand short. And last year, I couldn't find them, of course. 
right? I couldn't find them at Hobby Lobby. So I will be looking for these at Hobby Lobby again this year because I just need the one more strand. <laughs> Ugh, don't you just hate when that happens? So I decided, okay, I better start from the bottom or this isn't gonna go well. And then I have to undo the top ones and then move them down. You know, the game that we play. <laughs> But I'm really, I'm not complaining because I love every part of decorating the house. And as you can see in the background, I've already got the two stockings that I made hanging on the wall and then I've got the nativity scene. Now I used to, you know, when my kids were home, I had a big nativity scene with lots of pieces and it was just beautiful, a little ridiculous, but beautiful. So, you know, now that we've, downsized and our kids are grown and out it's it's time to simplify so I found that nativity scene at Hobby Lobby and it's all together in one piece it's made of wood it's very rustic and beautiful I love it and it sits beautifully on top of that stone uh, wood box that my husband has built my husband is a stonemason and he built the wood box on the hearth and at some point that wall behind the wood stove will be covered in beautiful stonework. I look forward to that day. So um, I have my uh, old standby pearl strands, which is what I have been putting on my tree for years. I absolutely love these pearl strands and they will just do until I can get another um, one, maybe two strands of those wooden um, ball garden. Uh, garland we'll see so I have plenty of these pearls I could drape pearls it could just be these pearl strands dripping I have so many so I'm just putting on a few so it looks you know just to fill in because I didn't have enough of the, the wooden stuff but I do love my pearls it gives that shabby feel because even though we are a little more rustic I'm still shabby chic at heart, you know it's true, so. My shabby heart likes pearls. <laughs> and that is a, an, a heater behind the tree. That's like our emergency heat source, but we heat with wood, so there's always a lovely fire going in the wood stove. Now I won't go into putting all of the ornaments on the tree because most of my ornaments have sentimental value so I take my time and I enjoy them and they're not going to mean anything to you like they do to me but I will show you at the, uh, I'll put a clip at the end with you know the tree and all her glory. But now I've got the garland and the lights on so it's time to put her in her spot and add the this angel. Now I got this, I love the rusticness of this angel and she's just beautiful, but she has this dang spring that makes it so difficult for me to get her on this tree. Now I did buy her at Hobby Lobby. There's a reoccurring theme here. <laughs> I got her, got her at Hobby Lobby and I love her, but I literally gonna have to have my husband remove the dang spring for me to uh, get her to settle on top of this tree. But I did try. I gave it a good solid effort there and then I just was tired. <laughs> so this is how I ended up uh, decorating that corner shelf and it's got a lot of um, things made by me and things made by my other crafty friends and then um, the three, the porcelain dolls that used to belong to my daughters when they were little and I just uh, love it. So be sure you check out my uh, link below to my Chris Christmas crafting videos. And there's some lovelies uh, made by my other talented friends. I just love it. And there's the old wax melter when you're not having a simmer pot, but <laughs> I was very much enjoying that simmer pot. I gotta tell you, that could definitely be a thing. And then my husband fixed the angel. Thank you, Chuck Royce. I love it. And um, there is the tree. I just I love a Christmas tree. 
You know, I really had to um, talk my husband into setting her up early. Like he's one of those after Thanksgiving guys. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. After Halloween, that's when the tree goes up. So um, he's coming around to the idea. <laughs> Not that he really has a choice, but he's being a really good sport about it. So I hope you enjoyed this little decorate with me. It's the first time I made a video like this, so I, I definitely see the things I need to improve. I really need to get a better uh, camera for sure and some better lighting. But thanks for coming along with me. I really had a good time. And this, my friends, is where I will be um, during the holiday season. Whenever I have a little bit of downtime, I will be sitting in my favorite rocking chair next to the tree in front of the fire. Um, either having a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or a glass of wine with my uh, lovely fur babies. And when my husband's home, he'll be sitting right there on the couch reading a book. And that it will be my happy place. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you all on the next one.